Hello everyone, I'm Captain Anthony Martinez, the Southeast Policing District Commander. And with me today is Detective Jer Vang of the Street Violence Bureau, our, one of our downtown detective units. Uh, Jer used to work here with us in the Southeast Policing District and we brought him back to congratulate him on his recent award. He was given a medal, which is an award of distinction by the California Peace Officers Association. And so once again, Jer, Welcome. Thank you. Tell sir. us a little bit about your award. It's uh, it's the award of distinction from the California Peace Officers Association. It's uh, it's designed and it's meant for uh, uh, peace officers throughout the the state of California who has uh, uh, done something for the community or uh, given something back to the community. And um, this this award uh, is. Uh, uh, starts from the department itself. Your, your name gets nominated. Um, it goes up the chain of command. The chief signs off on it, and then it goes through the um, California Peace Officers Association committee, and uh, they go through what you've done for the community or what you've you've given back, and uh, they vote. And um, there's uh, there's multiple winners um, throughout the state of California. I was one of um, 11 winners um, this year. Well, congratulations again, and as the uh, district commander here, I saw firsthand the impact of your program and your award was, was well deserved and uh, congratulations again on that. What many of you may not know is that Jer put together the first Fresno Police Department Hmong Residence Academy and that was the primary focus that was behind his uh, award of distinction. He did a lot of good work over here in Southeast and I'm going to ask Jer to explain to us a little bit about what the Hmong Residence Academy was about and why it came together. Thank you, sir. The Model Residence Academy is based off on the Hispanic Residence Academy that the Fresno Police Department has. Um, for a long time now, the Hispanic Residence Academy has been um, an ongoing program that the Fresno Police Department have for the Hispanic Residence Academy. Um, I, when I, when I first came on with Fresno PD, I um, thought about the Hispanic Residence Academy and I, I cloned the Hmong Residence Academy after the. Uh, Hispanic Residence Academy. What I did was I, I reached out to instructors, reached out to former instructors and current instructors, um, and also Maggie Navarro, who um, currently runs the Hispanic Residence Academy. And uh, the Hmong Residence Academy is based off on that. We teach anything from use of force to patrol procedures, internal affairs. We have the Office of Independent Reviewer um, um, at the at one of the class talking about what they do. Um, we, we show videos. We talk about just the different things that Fresno PD uh, does for the community. Um, any plans for the future with the Hmong Residence Academy? Yes, sir. Uh, we plan to continue the, the, um, the program. Um, we will have a second Hmong Residence Academy coming up soon. It'll be our uh, number two, and um, it'll be from October 2nd uh, to November 20th. We will meet every Wednesday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m at Duncan Pauley High School here in Fresno. Um, it's, it's open to the public, it's um, free. Anyone and everyone is welcome. Um, we provide child care, we provide uh, snacks and uh, drinks there. Um, and at the, at the same time, um, this time we added two weeks, two additional weeks to the course itself. So instead of it being six weeks, it is now eight weeks. Well, thank you again for coming and joining us, Chair. Uh, a big congratulations on your award. That was very well deserved. We were all proud of you. You represented the Hmong community, the Fresno Police Department, and the city of Fresno with distinction down in Long Beach. So again, thank you and congratulations, and good luck with your upcoming class. Thank you, sir.